Alright, so this is my let's play of the Tom Clancy's Division Beta. I've been playing for a few hours now, we're just gonna go back into it and give it another try with the screen recording, see how it goes. You'll notice it has a really long load time, at least for now, hopefully that'll be fixed in the uh, retail version. As I said, it has a really long load time. Kind of annoying, but hey, I'm one of the select few that get to play the beta for this weekend. So I can't complain. As a side note here, I've got the graphics settings turned down to medium for the screen recording. I find that I get a little better performance that way. The game does look absolutely beautiful on high and ultra settings, though. Okay, and we're in. Alright, now, I've pretty much completed all the side missions and most of the encounters that you can do up till now. However, there are still a couple things for me to do, one of which is the uh, encounters. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, head over to one of those now. You'll notice that there's GPS mapping, um, that little arrow and line above my head here comes in handy so you don't get lost. Come on, what the hell, man? All kinds of civilians wandering around in the city, at least in the uh, areas that aren't in the Dark Zone. The Dark Zone is sort of an epic uh, dungeon PvP area of the game where you can get really good items and weapons and things of that nature. Sometimes. I'll show you a little bit of that later in the uh, second Let's Play. If we have time. Alert! Intercepting JTF radio traffic. Taking small arms fire! Small this game arms is fire! Who the hell is in their sight? JTF, hearing this? If you play any other Tom Clancy games like Rainbow Siege, Tracking signal. Rainbow Six Siege, or, uh, Ghost Recon, then you'll, you'll be familiar with the playstyle instantly. Officer. Without you, we'd have been dead. Hopefully that'll make them Holy think twice crap, about hitting the next the JTF patrol they see. Morning. Hostile forces approaching. We've got tangles inbound! We need to protect this block from these scouts. Oh, look out!
is secure. No more hostiles detected. All right, so that's a basic encounter. They can get a lot harder than this. Couldn't have done it twice about hitting the next JTF patrol they see. It's an honor to fight with you. That one just uh, worked out to be fairly easy, thankfully. Before you start with the comments, yes, I know, I suck at third-person shooters. I'm not the greatest player of these games. I'm glad I'm fighting with you. But I enjoy them. As far as I'm concerned, that's all that really matters. And the game, even though it is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game, it does have full controller support, which is outstanding. For those of you that uh, like controllers, like myself. Let's head for another objective. As you can see, I've pretty much done everything you can do. The beta is extremely limited. All these areas here, see, are out of bounds. This area here is what's known as the Dark Zone, uh, at least one of the Dark Zones, the one that's available in the beta. It's uh, basically, as I said earlier, a PvP area um, where you can get better items has a few landmarks and things of uh, interest in there as well. And uh, there's epic gear vendors in the uh, checkpoints, which uh, is pretty awesome. Basically, the entire goal of the Dark Zone is to go in, try and uh, find some weapons, uh, items, things of that nature. And then you have to take them to an extraction zone and uh, wait for the helicopter to come and pick it up and there's usually a, a dozen or more people around at any given time when you're doing this some of which want to take you or kill you and take your stuff um, before it gets a chance to be extracted and all the extracted things are contaminated it will all go to your stash at your safe house which would be either here at your base of operations in the demo at least or down here at the uh, hub which is where you start the game So for now, I'm going to head down here and do this encounter and uh, see how it goes. Hopefully this one will be a little more detailed so you guys can get a really good idea of what uh, things are like. As you can see, it is winter time. See you. And you really want to be careful running through areas like I wasn't just now. Because this can happen. There's really no safe zone uh, aside from the base of operations. Active Echo Beacon detected. Echo is a uh, kind of a virtual memory of things that have happened in that area in the past. Usually it's pretty um, sad. Somebody was killed by a group of rioters or something of the sort. This is an echo like I was just talking about a minute ago. I'll show you what they're like. Basically, it brings Here. up this overlay. Make it last, okay? And as you can see, a lot of 
really bad shit happened here. Looks like a group of riders were throwing things. This food belongs to us now! Drop the goods and get the hell out of my sight! Pack this up! Hurt really bad. We're taking the garden next. You move near the uh, holograms, it gives you information on them. As you can see. These uh, also play a part in certain missions. I'm going to go ahead and leave the Echo Zone. There's a lot of running around in this game. There is a fast travel option. Um, you can only fast travel to safe houses, but it does save a lot of time. However, in the beta, of course, there are only two safe houses. And what I'm doing, when uh, a minute ago you saw that uh, I scanned the area, there are abilities that you can... Uh, set for yourself. Again, it's very limited to the beta. All these are unavailable here. The ones that are available under security is the ballistic shield, which uh, equips a portable ballistic shield that absorbs a lot of damage. It's actually really good. Um, oh, however, the problem with that is when the shield is equipped, you can only shoot using your pistol, not your machine gun or any other weapons. So I don't really bother with that one. Uh, the sticky bomb is pretty fun. It's exactly like it sounds, just like you've seen in Metal Gear and other games. It's a sticky bomb that you can remote detonate after it's launched and uh, stuck to something. The two that I do use are the Pulse. Um, right now I have modifications equipped. You can see uh, the fourth selection over there. This is the one that I'm using. It's a tactical scanner. So basically it gives me the same features as the basic scan, 60 meter range, 25 second duration, critical hit chances, etc. Activate, activated by tapping the right uh, shoulder button. Not sure what the keyboard controls are. This is the mod recon pack. It uh, extends the range to 80 meters and a little longer, dur a shorter duration, and etc. This one here is a scrambler. The pulse protects the user and all allies from hostile pulse scans. And of course, the one I'm using, damage is increased when attacking any hostile targets identified by the pulse scan. And the other one that I use is um, first aid, which uh, basically heals a total of a little over a thousand HP. And uh, you can see there. You can hold it, you can uh, you can aim it, you can actually uh, heal allies in your area as well as yourself. That's pretty cool. Talents are not available in beta, unfortunately, uh, nor are perks, even though apparently I've unlocked one. So yeah, that's your abilities that you can choose and mod and upgrade. give you an idea of what the inventory looks like. This is your weapons, your equipped gear, and your electronics and other gear. These here would be modifications that you can attach to them. For instance, I, these are all mods that I can put on my guns. I actually have most of them attached right now. And as you can see, I... Oh, actually... Ah! Here we go. As you can see, I've got stealth for the color. I've got a good uh, blue quality level scope. I could change that to different ones if I wanted to. I have a suppressor on there, an under barrel for stability and accuracy, and an extended magazine. Of course, there's a variety of uh, mods you can get large variety of weapons and armor as well. And actually I've only got a couple minutes here for this first Let's Play video so while I'm doing this I'll uh, show you the character screen as well which uh, shows you your attributes, your firearm, stamina, weapon damage, all this. On the left you can see your primaries, your uh, level and your rank Rank is the dark zone, uh, level is the uh, outer world. 
pouches. This is all the crafting resources and consumables, etc., that I currently have on hand. And you can craft in this game, and apparently it's very detailed, unfortunately. Again, this being a beta, it's not available. And this is your clothing. You can change your appearance using uh, different pieces of clothes. And uh, so on and so forth. Yeah, this is your group management screen where you can invite friends. You can see a list of your friends. I don't currently have any on this account. I've been uh, kind of playing solo for the most part. I've only managed to get a few hours into the uh, to the demo. It's been uh, running since Friday, but I only got my invite today, unfortunately. So I have a limited, approximately 12-hour time frame that I can play this for before it goes offline. And as far as I know, this is the only closed beta until March when the game launches. Or at least that's the tentative launch date. Okay, so that's uh, my encounter screen. So before I go in there, I'm going to go ahead and find a uh, place to sort of hide for a minute. Okay, and that's it for the uh, for this first Let's Play. When I come back in a little while, I'm on the second video, I'm going to show you guys what the Dark Zone is all about. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Feel free to leave any comments below.